Hi there. This video is going to show you how to create a random number generator or a word generator using Google Slides and a plugin that's called Creator Studio. And you can then insert this into a Google Slide or into Seesaw. So let's get going. I am going to select everything on this page and get rid of it because we are going to go File, Page Setup, Custom Setup, and we're only going to make it three three inches by three inches. All right, click on a shape. I'm going to use the rounded square. I'm going to hold down shift so that it constrains it to a perfect square. And you can kind of just move it lightly until you see those alignment tools. Alignment lines, I'm gonna to go to a gradient. Let's go for this. And I'll make the border color a little bit darker. All right, I think that's gonna work good. So now, clicking over here in the navigator, I'm going to press Control and then tap D. And I'm only going to make three slides, but what you watched earlier, I think there were about 54 slides, but this will be enough for you to see how to do this. All right, I could just do circles here and make dice patterns, or I could type the number, but I have a math tools page with tools that I pull off of it. If you're interested in using this, it has coins, um, number tiles, lots of different things, and I continually add to it. You could go to this bit.ly link here, and then once you get there, and you'll have to click on use template to make a copy. But this is what we're gonna do. I am going to choose this hand for three, control C to copy, come back here, now, if I paste, I'm not going to see where it is because this slide is now really tiny. It's only three inches by three inches. So I'm going to do zoom 50%. Now, when I paste, I can still find it. And I'm going to put it in the middle, click on the next one, go back to my math tools. Let's go to a higher number. Let's take the two dice, control V, move it into place. And one more. Let's do a math rack or a rec and rack. I think it's good for kids to know lots of different ways to represent numbers. All right, now we're going to use the add on. If you do not have this add on called Creator Studio, you can go to Get Add ons, type it in, install it, give it permission to get to your hard drive, to your Google Drive, and you'll be good to go. It's nice, it makes its own folder on your Google Drive. All right, I'm gonna go down to Create Video. It's going to work on it and pop up over here. I am going to leave the size the same. The size is 300 pixels. That seems like a decent size for this. And, but I am going to change the time interval to 0.5 because kids are going to be clicking stop and start to determine which number they're going to use. Down here, video file, click on go, it's going to work it. And then in the meantime, and it's already done because I've only got three slides, but let's go to the Google Drive, your Google Drive and see. In here, I have searched for Creator Studio and found it. By default, it's sharing it with the people in my school district, but I want to open this up. I'm going to click on the down arrow and go to share. share. And then I am going to tell it to share to anyone with the link. So change, anyone with the link, done. So now, because I did that for the folder, anything I put in that folder has those same permissions. And you'll notice this is the new one that we just made, and it is red right here, the icon. It means it's still processing it on the their end. So it'll be available soon. I'm going to go back to on my math tools page. I put a math game that I would like to have this dice put in. So here I'm going to go insert video. And when you do this, you can either if you're looking for videos on YouTube, you could type it in there. If you know the address, you could paste the URL there. But I'm going to go to my Google Drive. And that's where it's saved. And if you click on recent, it'll pull up everything that you've done, obviously, recently. 
This is the one that's still processing. I'm going to go to this one, which is the longer one that I showed you earlier. Once you get it here, you can resize it, move it into place. And the way that the kids would play this is they would click on it to get it going, click pause at some point, and that's the number that they're dealing with. So to play this particular game, it's a seven on the wreck and wreck. So if I was on this side, I could cover my two and my five. So I've got my die there to help me with that. In Seesaw, you're going to have to download it. So we'll go back to this and you're going to click on this download button here. And once it gets downloaded, this is my Seesaw slide that is already, that was my dog making that noise, already for the video of the <laughs> random dice here. So I'm going to click on the camera, upload. Here it is in my downloads. Click on open, it comes in big, and everything, everything on Seesaw just looks so clean, so beautiful. Thinking about it now, I probably should have changed the background to that same color, but it'll work the same. So here again, the kids will click on it, stop it. I'm doing the number 10 here. So for this particular one, I would pick numbers that were larger, but that is how you use Creator Studio and Google Slides to create a random number generator. I hope you can use this.